all last two days back i have uploaded a video to know your opinion that whether to start a live batch for the class 12 board examination as well as the neat exam or not so it will all depend on your response so you have to text a message on the whatsapp with your name as well as your medium from which medium you are belonging and for more information about this live stream coaching by myself you can just call us on the helpline number all right so if you have not seen up till that video definitely see that video and that live stream coaching by me for the board 12th board as well as the neat is very very important and it's too much cheap it's around 3.5 rupees per lecture only if you'll be calculating it's only 3.5 rupees lecture for more information call all right so today we are starting with another very important topic of the classification of the class amphibia classification of the class amphibia and this class amphibia is actually divided into three orders all right class amphibia is divided into how many orders three orders the first order is the order gymnophiona the first order is the order gymnophiona or it is also called as the apoda now what is apoda a means absent and poda means legs this is the order of the class amphibia where limbs will be totally absent limbs will be totally absent so first character is that they are very much primitive limbless amphibians that's why called as apodes all right so they are primitive limbless amphibians and their body is long worm like their body is long worm like and they are burrowing in nature means they form the burrows all right scales are present in them but they are embedded in the skin normally you have seen in the general characters that scales are absent in the case of the amphibians the frog skin is smooth but here in the case of the order gymnophiona members you can see that scales are present but these scales are embedded in the skin the scales are embedded in the skin now male has a protrusible copulatory organ male has a protrusible copulatory organ all right what is protrusible which can come out and again it can revert back in the body that is called as a protrusible copulatory organ normally you have seen that when we were talking about the general characters in general characters we generally tell that the copulatory organ is absent because frog is the main member of the class amphibia and in frog the copulatory organ is absent but here in the members of the order gymnophiona or the apoda male has a protrusible copulatory organ now in the general features when we were concentrating when we were focusing on the frog we have said this point that eyes are with eyelids eyes are with eyelids but you can see here that eyes are without eyelids in the members of the apoda the eyes are without eyelids all right parental care is found you will see a example here where a a better type of the parental care is seen all right now what is the best example of the order gymnophiona so the best example is ichthyophis best example is ichthyophis now in the case of the ichthyophis female coil around the eggs female coil around the eggs and provide the parental care and provide the parental care all right so ichthyophis is the member of the apoda order where the female coil surrounds the egg and provide the parental care and also remember this thing that in the ichthyophis the tympanum is absent tympanum is absent and because of the tympanum it cannot hear and that's why it is also called as deaf form and it is also called as a blind form so you can call it as blind form or deaf form blind form or deaf form so this ichthyophis is very very important member of the order apoda clear now coming to the second order which is also important 
and that is known as the chordata or the urodella. Now, what do you mean by the word chordata? Chordata word is actually coming for the caudal region. Coda. Coda means tail. So you can call it as chordata. Urodella. Uro means what? Urodella means they are having the tail. So body is distinctly divided into head, trunk and tail. In the general features I have said you that the body was divided into head and trunk. If you see the frog, the body is divided into head and trunk. But tail was absent. And we have said in the general characters that tail may or may not present. But here in the case of the Urodella, the name, order name is Urodella just and just because they have tail. So the body is divided into three parts. Head, the body is divided into head, trunk and tail. And remember that thing that the tail is present lifelong. Tail is present lifelong and that's why they are called as Urodella. That's why the name is given to this order Urodella as the tail is present lifelong. Now two pairs of equal sized limb present. Why I have written here equal sized limb present? Because you will be studying a third order just now in which we will be discussing the frog and all. So in frog if you have seen that the posterior limbs or the hind limbs are long and the forelimbs are a little bit short. But here two pairs of equal size limbs present. So you can compare this point with the limbs found in the frog where the forelimbs are small and the hind limbs are long in the case of the frog but here two pairs of the equal size limbs are present all right now copulatory organ is absent in male here in the case of the apoda you have seen that the male was having a copulatory organ but here the copulatory organ is absent in the male and some members of the order urodella some members of the order urodella shows some members not all members some member shows neoteny and what is neoteny either you can call it is retention of larval characters even in the adult what is neoteny try to understand it retention of the larval characters even in adult and larva starts the act of reproduction again i am repeating what is neoteny retention of the larval characters even in adult and the larva st starts the act of reproduction this is called as what neoteny and scales are absent in them. Here you have seen that scales were present, but here the scales are scales are absent. Now in the order Eurodella, there are few important members. Nectuous, it is also called as water dog or mud puppy. It is also called as water dog or mud puppy. Alright. Nectuous, it is also called as water dog or mud puppy. It shows permanent neoteny. It shows permanent neoteny. It shows permanent neoteny. Means larva retain uh, or we can retention of the larval characters even in the adult. Second is the embiostoma. What is embiostoma? Embiostoma is called as tiger salamander and it has exolot larva. Alright. Embiostoma is called as the tiger salamander and it has exolot larva. Emphuma. This emphuma is an important member. It is also called as Congo eel and as I have said you in the entire animal kingdom the Congo eel has the largest RBC. Has the largest RBC. Triton. It is called as newt or also called as crested newt. It can also be called as crested newt. Proteus. Proteus is called as cave salamander. Proteus is called as the cave salamander. Proteus is called as the cave salamander. Proteus is called as cave salamander. And salamandra. The characteristic feature of the salamandra is that it is viviparous. The characteristic feature of the salamandra is viviparous. And it is also called as a European fire salamander. It is also called as a European fire salamander. So these are the important members of phylum Eurodella. So there are three three orders now. That is there are three orders. So first order was Apoda. The second order is Eurodella. Now coming to the most most important uh, order of the class Amphibia and that is known as the Anura. 
in which we will discuss the frog and you will see that all the general features we have dis, uh, studied will be applicable here. So starting with the third order known as the Enura. Now the question arises that why the order Enura is so called as Enura. A means absent, neura means they are not having any tail. So can I say that they are tailless amphibian? They are tailless amphibian. A neura or silentia means they do not have tail. And eyes are with eyelids. But the point to be noted here is that lower eyelid is movable while the upper eyelid is immovable. Eyes are with eyelids but the lower lid is movable while the upper eyelid is non-movable or immovable. Middle ear and tympanum both are present. Middle ear and tympanum. Remember this thing. Middle ear and tympanum both are present and the body is divided into head and trunk. We know very well that tail is absent and neck is also absent. Same for frog. In frog both neck as well as tail is absent and the body is divided into head and trunk. Now vertebral column in them is very small. Of course amphibians are belonging to the vertebrata. So vertebral column is small means it has only five to six vertebras. It has only five to six vertebras and remember this thing the last vertebra the last vertebra in them is called as urostyle, is called as urostyle. Fertilization is external as we what we see in the case of the frog. Frog lay eggs in water and there the fertilization occur. Fertilization is external and development is indirect and development is indirect and it occurs with the help of tadpole larva. Now remember this thing that as I have already already I have said you the forelimbs are small by but the hind limbs are long and these hind limbs are meant for or are adapted for jumping. Now let's talk about some important members of the order Enura. Hyla. It is also called as a tree frog. Hyla is called as a tree frog. Recophorus. Recophorus. It is called as the flying frog. Recophorus is called as flying frog. Elites is called as the midwife toad. Why it is called as the midwife toad? Because the male carries the eggs on its limb. On its limb. Again I am repeating. Why it is called as midwife toad? Because the male is carrying the eggs on its limb up till they hatch. Pipa is called as the Suriname toad. Pipa is called as the Suriname toad. Alright. So this is the fourth member. Pipa. Next is the Bufo. Bufo is called as the common toad. And in this Bufo, parotid glands are present. Parotid glands are present which are actually the poisonous glands. Because they have been formed by the modification of, they have been formed by the modification of the parotid salivary gland. Alright, so we generally call it as that they have parotid poison glands. Rana tigrina, very important member of this order Enura. Rana tigrina, it is also called as Indian bullfrog, also called as Indian bullfrog. Bombinator, also called as fire bellied toad, what we call fire bellied toad or bombinator. And the last one is the genopus. Genopus is not having the eyelids as well as the teeth. Both the eyelids and the teeth are absent in the member Genopus. So these were the important members of the order Enura. Like this we have completed today the classification of the amphibian. Is it clear now? In the classification of the amphibian we have seen it was classified into how many orders? Three orders. Number one was number one was Epoda without limbs, then Eurodela, tail was persistent throughout the life, and the Anura, which are called as the tailless amphibians. Alright. 
so thanks a lot for watching me we will be coming soon with many more videos so just keep on watching